How can you replace a $60,000 a year job with rental properties? Maybe you already make $60,000 a year in your nine to five day job. Maybe you don't make anywhere near that and you'd like to make more than what you're making now. Whatever it is for you, you can absolutely do it with rental properties. And the best part about this is our active income will now be converted to passive income. Meaning that if you don't wanna to go to work anymore, you don't have to. Of course, that's up to you. It's obviously your choice, but rental properties are passive, meaning you make money while you sleep. Every single month, the tenants are gonna pay you rent. That rent will go to covering the mortgage, covering expenses, you know, any bills that you have to pay for your business, but everything left over, that's cash flow. And that cash flow is exactly how you're going to replace your nine to five day job, your active income with passive income. You might think I'm crazy. You're saying, you know what, Bryce, that is impossible. There is no way that you could do that. Well, I'm here to tell you that it is possible. In the last 12 months, my wife and I have bought 12 cash flowing rental units that pay us each and every month, whether we work on them or not. Here's a little backstory about me. I kind of fell into real estate on accident. When I graduated from college in 2015, I, I bought a house kind of because I thought that's what you did. I was an adult and I knew that adults bought houses and so I thought that was the next step for me. So that's exactly what I did. I went out, I talked to a realtor, I bought a house and then after moving into it, I rented out the bedrooms to a couple of my buddies. Overnight, I went from having a $900 a month mortgage to a $0 a month mortgage and I lived for free. It was, it was incredible. It, it kind of felt like I was stealing in a way. For the next two years, I lived completely for free because my roommates were paying my mortgage every single month. And then I think there was like 10 or 20 bucks left over every month. And so they bought me lunch too. It was, it was awesome. Fast forward a couple years in the future and my life had changed quite a bit. Two years after I bought that house, I met my wife, we got married, we actually moved into her house, and I was just kind of over living with roommates. I had found my forever roommate and I was done with living with my friends. But now the downside was I had a mortgage again, and I thought to myself, man, this sucks. Like before I didn't have to pay anything, and now I have to pay rent again, essentially, I have to pay my mortgage. How can I how can I do what I was doing previously? How can I live for free? Of course, I'm married and I found my roommate. I don't want to live with other roommates anymore. And I didn't want to do like the Airbnb thing. I didn't want to rent out any of our bedrooms anymore. And so I was just like, how, how can we do this? So again, my wife and I decided to buy our very first rental property. And that generated income to supplement our nine to five day jobs. From day number one, when we bought that property, it netted us an additional $700 dollars a month after the mortgage, expenses, everything. It, it honestly felt like magic to me. Every single month, I got a check in the mail for $700. Somebody was paying me $700 a month and it was magic. Like I really didn't have to do anything for it. It didn't matter what I did, whether I went to work the next day, whether I went on vacation the next day, whether I was sleeping or not, it didn't matter because I was still making that money each and every month and I knew that come the first of every single month, I was gonna get another rent check. I soon realized that if I continued down this road and I continued to buy houses, then eventually the income that I made from all the rents would cover the income that I made from my day job. So that very first property that we talked about, it was, it was a duplex. The one side rented for $850 a month and the other side rented for $700 a month. Even though we bought a duplex for our first one, we've kind of scaled up in the sense that now we typically target uh, fourplexes and that's what we like to buy, but the principles are all still the same. Typically we shoot for units that have three beds and one bathroom or three beds and two bathrooms. We feel like this kind of is just like the, the happy medium. This gives us a good size unit to rent out, but you still have a good selection of tenants to choose from that are looking for a little bit more space. And that way you get the highest rents as well. If you know anything about me, you know that in my life, I don't buy anything at retail prices. I don't buy cars at retail. I don't buy clothes at retail. I, I, everything that I buy, I try and get a discount on. Unless I can get a discount, I don't buy that thing and properties are no different. We like to buy properties that are a little bit dumpier so that we have room to fix them up, increase rents, 
and then get a good tenant in there and rent them out so that they're cash flowing every single month. Most of these properties, after all the expenses are paid, the mortgage, everything is accounted for, we typically net about $300 per month per door. Now, when I say the word doors, what I'm actually referring to is the physical number of doors in the property. So for example, a single family home would have one door, and so we call it one door. A duplex has two doors, triplex has three, fourplex has four. Like I said before, we typically try to buy four doors at a time because it's easiest to scale up that way. Now, pausing for just a second, if if videos like this are beneficial to you, please be sure to go down below and hit the subscribe button for me. And as always, give me a thumbs up if you could, because it really does help us with the YouTube algorithm. Okay, so the math is pretty simple. Let's say we want to replace, again, $60,000, which is our job. And let's see, so divide that by 12 months, and that comes out to $5,000 a month. If we want to net $300 per month per door, uh, we wanna see how many doors we need to acquire. If we do the math, that comes out to 16 doors. Now remember, we typically buy fourplexes, which means there's four doors per fourplex. That comes out to four fourplexes. Four fourplexes, four properties. If you can count to four on your hand, which I hope you would be able to, that's all you need to replace your day job. This past year alone, we bought two duplexes and two fourplexes. And we're likely gonna close on another fourplex uh, coming up here in a couple months. Now, you might be asking, why do you buy fourplexes instead of these bigger apartment complexes? You know, Grant Cardone is always about buying these 16 unit apartment complexes. And the biggest reason for that is you get bigger bang for your buck. The reason for that is because when you buy four units or less, you still qualify for residential financing. Say that you really did wanna go buy a big apartment complex with 16 units or whatever it may be. Because there's more than four doors, it, it actually qualifies for commercial financing, meaning you have to put down 30% in order to get into these. And also there's some other complications with the interest rate. Usually it's amortized over 30 years, but there's a balloon payment and then it's based off prime. And it's just, it's a whole different ball game. But, four units or less qualifies for residential financing, and that typically means that your down payment requirements are going to be less as well, making it easier for you to purchase them. With residential loans, you can go to any bank, any local credit union, and they'll give you a loan because it still qualifies for residential financing. Now, your local bank, local credit union, they'll also do commercial financing, but typically it's easier to qualify based on your income and all these different things. And I don't know about you, but I don't have a half million dollar sitting in the bank, which I can use to buy one of these massive apartment complexes. So residential loans work just fine for me. Okay, now I will admit that buying your very first property is daunting. And to be honest, it's, it's kind of difficult too. There's a lot that you have to learn. Usually it's a decent amount of money that you have to come up with up front. And it's just, it's kind of scary. You've never done it before. I totally understand. But the very first one is the hardest. And then the second one after that is a little bit easier. And the one after that is significantly easier. It just gets easier and easier and easier. So once you buy your first property, you're on the downhill slope. And the reason that the second is easier than the first is because let's say we buy one fourplex and we, if we target that $300 a month uh, per unit per door net, uh, that means that we're bringing in $1,200 a month. So if you still work your nine to five day job and you're bringing in $1,200 a month net that you're saving off to the side, you can save so much faster because this is just compounding and compounding and growing. Now with that growing, you take that money plus the money you're saving from your W-2 job, put them together, you buy the second fourplex. Now the second fourplex, you have two fourplexes now. You have eight units that are compounding, they're saving money, and now you're saving $2,400 a month off to the side, again, in conjunction with your W-2 day job, and that's growing even faster and faster. Now you can buy your third fourplex in half the time that you bought the second fourplex. Do, do you see what I'm getting at? Once you get into the game of real estate, it's just, it's so 
so much easier than people think because it compounds, it grows, and after a while it grows faster than you can even believe. In some of the other videos on my channel, I talk about where to go to find deals and how to structure the deals. But for right now, I just wanted to kind of talk about this and hopefully you can get that flip to switch in your brain just so you can kind of start to reverse engineer that process and so you can really grasp the the power and the impact that buying real estate can have on your life okay now i know a lot of you i always get these comments and it drives me crazy because all the beginners in real estate say that's impossible it is so impossible to find a deal that will net you twelve hundred dollars a month and if that's you and you believe that, then okay, great. Don't buy real estate and I'll buy it all up in place of you because I find deals like these every single day. People, they'll sit and they'll, they'll just scroll through Zillow and they'll say, you know what? I can't find any deals. There's nothing that makes money. I'm just gonna sit here and be sad. And fine, then real estate is not for you. But like I said, I find these deals all the time, all day long, and we don't, it's, it's mind blowing to me. So if you're one of those haters, if you really don't believe it, let's run a analysis on one of the properties that we are under contract on. Spoiler alert, the numbers work, but I just wanna show it to you now. Okay, so here's a screen recording of the um, investment property calculator that I use to analyze all of my deals. This address right here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, it's a bogus address. I don't want people bothering my tenants on the property, anyway. Um, so this is a breakdown. So the purchase price of this fourplex was 261,000, 2% in closing costs. Believe it or not, there were no repair costs. This fourplex was built in the late nineties and it's got a brand new roof. There's nothing wrong with it. No issues whatsoever. Um, it is under rented so severely and that's why we got such a screaming deal on it because as soon as we go in and raise rents, the property will now be worth $375,000. So on the day that we purchase it, we make roughly a hundred grand, which I'll take. 20% um, down, 4.25% over 30 years. Our lender isn't charging any points or any fees. The gross rent, gross monthly rent on this unit is $3,100, four units. Um, there isn't any other income. There's no like laundry or anything like that that we're making any money from. Property taxes are $3,600 a year and insurance is $1,200 a year. As far as expenses go, um, I typically do 5% for maintenance and repair, 5% for uh, CapEx. Uh, we self-manage all of our properties, and so I usually don't put anything for property management and 5% for the vacancy rate. Now over here, you can see that the monthly income is 3,100. The expenses are right around 1,900. That means that our net cash flow per door is $301 per month. Obviously four units, right around $1,200 a month. Great thing too is the cash on cash return is sitting right around 25%, which is huge. And this is easily more than the 1% rule and our cap rate is right at 11%. Now, here's another cool thing about this calculator is let's say, let's say the purchase price was like 300,000. Mm, no, let's even go like 325. And eh, not quite, maybe 375. There we go, okay. Um, so you can see that whenever our um, our cash flow or our cash on cash return doesn't quite meet our criteria, the numbers turn orange. And that's just a quick, easy way of knowing that there's something not quite right and this is not a deal that I would do. Now, if you look over here on the right side, this shows the different price variations and you can see that if we get this down to $367,000, um, our cash on cash return and our cash flow still quite, it won't be there. But if we get it to 363, you can see that our cash on cash is now 12% or higher, which is typically what I stick to. Now, of course, the cash flow per door is not there. So again, I wouldn't buy this deal at 363,000. You can see down here too, though, $337,000 is the price, the, the highest price that I will pay where it will meet my cash on cash requirements and my cash flow per door requirements. Now, of course, we didn't get it at 375. It's now worth 375, but we got it at 261,000. And that gets us to $300 per door and 25% 
in cash on cash return. Uh, if you like the spreadsheet, if you think it's pretty cool, you can go down and click on the link down in the description and snag a copy for yourself so that you can run your own numbers. So again, a lot of people will look at me and say, it's not possible to replace a $60,000 a year income with rental properties. And if that's you, okay, keep believing that, but it's really not that difficult. And over the course of one or two years, if you're consistent and persistent about it, you can absolutely replace your day job with rental properties. Hopefully that was beneficial to you. If you have any questions, be sure to comment down below for me. Um, happy to help out with any questions that you may or may not have. Um, but until then, we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.